As birds are caught in a snare, so are the sons of man snared in an evil time. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of the man called Paladin. Oh, hey, boy. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Mr. Paladin. Mr. Malone and I are going up to my suite to finish our business. Will you bring up some whiskey and soda, please? Yes, sir, Mr. Paladin, right away. This way, Mr. Malone. Fifty thousand dollars. It's quite a haul. I told you that off the record, Paladin. I haven't let the amount of our loss be known. It'd not only close the bank, it would ruin the town. I'd like to help you, Malone, but you don't give me much to go on. Here we are. Come right in. Thank you. Sit down. Oh, it was a cleverly planned robbery, all right. Five men, you say? Yeah, but when the deputies caught up with them just outside of town, there were only four. In the gunfight that followed, two were killed and two got away. And the fifth? He must have been the ringleader. We figure he ran out on his men with the money. Any idea who it was? I have every reason to believe it was Pappy French. Pappy French? You've heard of him? Yeah. Ever since I've been in the West, but I never believed in him. I always figured he was some sort of a legend. Oh, Pappy French is very real. Did you ever see him? No. Ever know anyone who did? No. And you want me to find him? I want you to find my bank's $50,000. Come in. Your whiskey or soda? Oh, thank you. Hey, boy, I'm leaving in the morning. Oh, where you go this time, Mr. Paladin? I'm going to track down $50,000 and a legend. <laughs> This is Frank Knight speaking for the world's most honored watch, Longines. In the conquest of the Old West, men won fame through feats of bravery and daring. Today, things are different, but fame can still be won. It's wonderful to win a Nobel Prize in science, a Pulitzer Award in literature, an Olympic gold medal in sports. In the field of time, did you know that Longines watches have won more great public honors than any other watch in the world? This is true. The highest authorities have ranked Longines watches as the finest achievement in the science and art of watchmaking. Yet, for a surprisingly modest cost, you may own or proudly give a Longines, the world's most honored watch, the world's most honored gift, styled with distinction, cased in precious metal, promising a lifetime of faultless timekeeping. Visit your authorized Longines Whitnor jeweler. He will be honored to serve you. Malone filled me in on the information he had, but it wasn't much. I had only a general direction and a cold trail. I wasted the first two days on a false lead, but shortly after dawn of the third day, I picked up some tracks that led through timber and on into hill country. By noon, I began to think I was wrong again, and then I heard a single shot. I worked my way forward and stopped suddenly at the edge of a clearing. A man was sprawled awkwardly on the ground, his right leg crumpled under him. I suppose you give me a hand up, huh? Suppose you put that gun away. Uh, well, all right. Uh, well, come on. Come on, help me. What was the shot I heard? Oh, my horse. I, I couldn't stand it no longer, watching the critter suffer. Stumbled he didn't come to grief. Throwed me. Well, how about that hand up? Uh. I'm afraid you came to grief, too. Looks like you've got a broken leg. Oh, you a doctor? No. Well, how you know it's broke? Well, come on. All right. Give me your hand. All right. Take it easy. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh. oh. Now, hold, hold on. Oh, just let me catch my breath. We'll try again. All right, now, 
No, 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 put me down. Ow. Oh. Maybe you better let me take a look at your leg. Uh, you, you know something about setting bones? Enough to get you to a doctor. I don't want a doctor. But if you know how, go ahead. You, you fix it. Well, I'll have to find something to use for splints. It'll hurt. Oh, ain't nobody man enough to do a thing old Pappy can't take. And you're Pappy French. Uh, maybe I am, maybe I ain't. Uh, what's it to you? Let's get you fixed up first. We can talk later. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I I passed out. I guess you did. Uh, Hey, that's a right nice job, mister. Good as any doctor could do. I reckon it'll get me where I want to go. Where is that? Well, I didn't ask you your business, did I? Well, I don't think you'll get very far on that leg. Oh, I don't aim to be walking. I aim to borrow your horse. Hope you got no objections, because if you do, I... Well, I... This what you're looking for? <laughs> now, how'd you get my gun? How'd you get it? I only agreed to fix your leg. Nothing more. <laughs> Say, mister, you're pretty slick. <laughs> yes, sir, I like you. Hey, listen here. You help me to get where I'm going, and I I'll cut you in. You'll cut me in on what? A satchel with $50,000 in it. What would you say if I cut you in for, uh, oh, maybe 10% of that? Well, it depend on whose money it was. It'd be your money after I give it to you. What do you want to ask many fool questions for? I'd like to know what the prospects are before I drop my present job. Oh, what job's that? To recover some money robbed from a bank in Merced last week. Oh. Oh, is that so? $50,000, to be exact. <laughs> well, now, ain't that a remarkable coincidence? You gonna lead me to it? I reckon I ain't got much choice, have I? No, not much. Come to think on it, you ain't too good off yourself. For an accident, you need the kind of protection that only Mutual of Omaha sells. What do you need? You need Mutual of Omaha's longer, stronger hospital insurance. Modern hospital insurance that's right for you. Single men and women, entire families, even senior citizens, no matter how old, can be protected by Mutual of Omaha hospital insurance. Here's what you need. You need modern insurance to help meet today's higher costs. Longer, stronger hospital insurance by Mutual Benefit Health and Accident Association. Call your local Mutual of Omaha agent in the yellow pages or write Mutual of Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska for information on plans available in your state. And remember this, you can save money when you add Mutual of Omaha long-term coverage to your group insurance. The savings you make depend on your age and the type of group insurance you have. Write for details to Mutual of Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> the way Pappy pointed out led into rough mountain country. The going was slow and difficult. I walked, leading the horse, while the old man hung in the saddle, gritting his teeth against the pain. Paladin. Yeah? Hey, it might be a notion to stop and rest a bit. There's not much cover here, in case anyone's looking for you. Oh, who'd be looking for me, except you? You ran out on your partners on that bank job, didn't you? Well... You took the money and left them to fight it out with the deputies. All right, what if I did? I figured they was young enough to make themselves another stake for me... It was my one last chance. That's one way to look at it. Oh, they probably all got killed anyway. Two of them got away. Say, is that so? Two of them, huh? They're probably mighty anxious to find out what their leader did with all that money. Well, well, was one of them a kid named Morley, a young punk with a two-hair mustache? Morley? Yeah, the other one they called Bull. Bull? Oh, he don't count, but that Morley... He always did want to carve himself a reputation out of my hide. Well, come on, let's move. All right. There's no telling how close your friends might be. Friends? Mister, 40 years I've been at odds with the law. I rode with many a man in that time, but you can't show me one I ever called friend. Quite a record. 
I suppose you're proud of it. Oh, lead the horse and quit preaching over me. I ain't dead yet. Cold grub. Mm. No, we can't take a chance on a fire. Unless you'd like to have Morley and uh, dine with us. Paladin, uh, <clears throat> what if I offer you half the money? That money's going back to the bank. Now, supposing uh, I change my mind about showing you where the money's hid. You could do that. Well, all right, that's just what I'm going to do. Take me in, have them lock me up. I don't care. You mean it? Yes, sir. The man who hired you ain't ever going to see his money again. You finished with that plate? Yeah, yeah, here, here. Whoa, whoa, what you doing? Getting my gear together. Whoa, whoa. Where, where are you going? Well, I'm not making any money sitting here looking at you. Might as well go back to town and get a good night's sleep in a hotel bed. What about me? I'll send some people for you in the morning. What you... I'll tell them to bring both a stretcher and a shovel, depending on who finds you first, they or Morley. Uh, Paladin, I... you like me to make a fire before I go? No. I think it's pretty cold up here at night. Well, I don't want no fire. Suit yourself. Good night, Pappy. Paladin. Paladin. Yeah? All right, you win. How's that? You win. I'll take you there in the morning. Just make up your mind, Pappy. One way or another, I'd like to get some sleep. I still think you want it all for yourself, the whole 50000 Well, that's always a possibility. You know, I've seen lots of men talk big before they had temptation laying right in front of them. Uh, they sang a different tune, and... You may have a point there, Pappy. Uh, good night. Hey, ain't we gonna share stand and watch? Expecting company? Oh, that, that Morley kid can track like an Indian. Well, wake me when you get tired. I don't think he'll bother us until we got the money. Uh, you expect me to stand watch without a gun? Oh, yeah, here... Your gun. Oh. Don't go shooting at shadows now. That's the quickest way to attract visitors. Listen, Sonny, I've camped out once or twice before in my life. Sure, sure. Good night, Pappy. <laughs> Think I need you, don't you? Uh, Pappy French don't need no man's charity. Paladin. Hey, Paladin. Hmm? Can you figure one good reason why I don't shoot you in the back? Five good reasons, Pappy. The bullets. They're here, in my saddlebag. What? Uh, that's a rotten way to treat a man. Just before I fell asleep, I took a long look at Pappy French, sitting alone, swinging an empty gun on the ghosts and torments of 40 years. I couldn't help him. I wished I could then I was awakened by a sound from out in the darkness, and I knew we had more than ghosts to think about. Hey, Pappy. Pappy! Uh, huh? What's oh, oh, I reckon I must have dozed off. Fine guard you are. Listen. Paladin, give me my bullets. Now, take it easy, Pappy. Hey, they've rode off. Now, what do you make of that? Well, they have us staked out now. Probably figure we won't start till sunup. Oh, and then they aim to trail us to the money and then move in on us. Why let them do the choosing? Let's go after them. Until we get the money, I'm not taking any chances on you getting shot. <laughs> you know, Valentin, you're a man of sound reasoning. I figure maybe you listen to a deal yet. Feel able to travel yet, Pappy? Yes, of course I do. I'll bring the horse up. Hey, Paladin! Paladin! Would you let me keep 10,000 of it? That and a day's head start to the border? <laughs> you don't give up easy, do you, Pappy? <laughs> no, I don't. Might be something for you to keep in mind. Be sociable, look smart. Keep up to date with Pepsi. Drink light, refresh. Be so
people have a Pepsi. When friends drop in, let your hospitality show you're sociable in the modern manner. Pepsi, you know, is the favorite of the smart and young at heart. Be sociable, look smart, keep up to date with Pepsi. Drink light, refreshing Pepsi. Stay young and fair and debonair. Be sociable, have a Pepsi. Have you tried a Pepsi lately? <laughs> Paladin? Yeah? Look behind. That dust just over the far draw. Yeah, they're gaining on us. Why put off the job we gotta do with them fellas? My job is to get that money. Yeah, but this here's a good place for an ambush. Come on, give me my cartridges. We'll wait for them. Pappy, we aren't shooting anyone in cold blood. Oh, what's the matter with you, boy? You've lived by your rules, Pappy. I'll live by mine. A man does what he's driven to do. You can't escape your fate no more than you can pick your father. You really believe that, huh? Well, I believe in making the best of a bad job. Forty years of it. Not a scar on my body, not a slash, not a bullet hole. And dang few days were spent behind bars. No, sir. Pappy French lived high on the hog. That's an impressive statement, Pappy. What have you got to show for it? <clears throat> eh, $42 and a handful of jingling silver. Comes to just a little better than a dollar a year. Yeah, that's how it figures, don't it? All right, hold up a minute. Now, you see the boulder on that ledge up yonder? Yeah. Under there is $50,000. Chance to live out my years in comfort and respect. That's it, huh? That's it. Well, go on. Go dig it up, Paladin. And if you won't listen to reason, as soon as I get a chance, I'm, I'm going to fight you for it. That boulder was heavy, and I was working against time. The men on our trail were closing the distance between us fast. Hey, Pappy, how did you ever move this boulder? The deputies was close on me. Oh, there's lots of strength in a desperate man. There you are. Now, it's buried shallow. Now, once more, Paladin, will you make a deal? No. You no. gonna take me in? It's all I can do, for your sake, Pappy. I'll never make it alone. Yeah, uh, uh, here it is. The satchel. All right, open it. Ah, uh, oh, it's pretty, ain't it? Okay, I'll take it now. Pappy, I told you... The that... bullets ain't in your saddlebag no more, Paladin. They're in this gun. Don't make a mistake, Pappy. You believe me now? Well, that was pretty stupid. We'll have Morley on us in a minute. That's what I'm aiming for. If I can't do business with you, I'll join up with them. The men you double-crossed? Sure. We'll just let bygones be bygones and get back where we started. You think you can do that? And why not? Well, you'll have a chance to find out. They'll be here any minute. Yes, they will. In the meantime, I might as leaf have your gun. After he took my gun, Pappy dragged himself to the rim of the ledge and slowly, painfully, leaning against a rock, pulled himself erect. For a moment, I had a glimpse of the man he once must have been as he faced Morley and Bull. They circled to a stop below him. Howdy, boys! Come on up! It's payday! Share and share alike! Why, well, you lying double-crossing old fool, that's too good for you! Pappy! Here, Pappy. Come on, here. Come on, behind this rock. <laughs> Give me back my gun. All right. Now, now, you hurt bad. You hear what he called me, old fool? Hey, we don't have much cover here. Don't you know when it's time to cut your losses? Go on, get out, save yourself. We'll get out of this together, Pappy. Or we won't get out at all. Oh, what's the matter with you, Paladin? Can you handle that gun of yours? Yes, I can. I got a few rounds left. And I'm going to crawl out there to the edge and make them count. No, Pappy, oh, must stay back. leave me be, Paladin. I got something to do. Darn smart, Alex. Hey, Marley! Happy? Uh, I made him. Happy? Count, didn't I? Uh, yes, you did. Here, let me help. No, it's no use, Paladin. Leave me be. That dirty nosed kid made his count, too. 
Oh, oh, don't matter. I reckon I'm getting old for this game. It's time to rest. Man ought to know when it's time for him to quit. Ain't, ain't that right, friend? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's right. Friend. Oh, Mr. Paladin, look like you have most exhausting trip. I carry saddlebag for you. Thank you, hey boy. You find a uh, fifty thousand dollar? Yes. Oh, you bring back? Yes, the fifty thousand dollars is in the bank where it belongs. You find a legend? No. No legend. I found a lonely, tired old man. A lonely, tired old man? That's right. Well, where is he? Uh, you, you bring him back? No. There was a spot on the hillside where the old man had buried some dreams. I left him there. CBS Radio and its affiliated stations from coast to coast welcome seven new stations to the electronic fold. Beginning today, these stations will bring extra listening dimension to millions of Midwestern homes through the news of CBS News and programming of CBS Radio. Adding the laughter from Amos and Andy, Mitch Miller's sparkling Sunday sideshow of stars, the surprises of House Party, America's winning seven daytime dramas heard every weekday, and the entire week-long schedule only a network like CBS Radio can provide. A hearty welcome from the CBS Radio Network to Station WKMH in Detroit, Station WKMF in Flint, Station WKHM in Jackson, Station WHLS in Port Huron, Station WLEW in Bad Axe, Station WSGW in Saginaw, all in Michigan, and Station WTOD in Toledo, Ohio. CBS Radio deems itself privileged to add its broadcast product to the outstanding local schedules of each of these stations. Dial in style with the new Midwestern affiliates of CBS Radio. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed by Norman McDonald and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hayboy. Tonight's story was written by Simon Winselberg and adapted for radio by Ann Dowd. Featured in the cast were Joseph Kearns as Pappy French and Harry Bartell as Mr. Malone. This is Hugh Douglas speaking. Join us again next week for Have Gun, Will Travel. Thank you.